Hello Virgos, guess who's back? Yes, I have made it. I've made it back. Boy, that was quite an experience. Thanks for sticking around. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I am definitely on the mend. Um, yeah, so I have missed you guys. Let's get back into the flow here of your readings for Virgos. Um, all right, let me see. So I'm going to be opening up the personal readings again in September. Okay, so I want you to keep that in mind. Um, I will open them up on my booking site. So if you want to book a reading for September, if you want to do that now, um, it'll be at my, my website, moonpytarot.com. And you'll find that link underneath the video here. Okay, um, and please be mindful. These messages are general. So they may or may not resonate. These are for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Hi, everybody in the chat. All right, you guys, let's get into this and see what's going on for you guys for, let's see, it's the middle of August. So I know we have some August Virgo birthdays coming up. So happy birthday to you guys, uh, me included, <laughs> here on the, uh, let's see, next Tuesday. That's gonna go flying right by, I'm sure. So let's get started with your reading, okay? What's going on for Virgos? Okay, you've got paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Um, this is the rest of August going into September, okay? And ooh, photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. So somebody's checking you out or looking at your photos. Maybe they have photos of you or they see you somewhere, um, makes them very happy to see your photos. Okay, They're, they enjoy looking at them. Somebody, <laughs> somebody, I'm not sure who yet, but we'll see. Um, yeah, they feel very um, complete or feel a sense of wholeness when they see or look back on photographs or see your photographs or your photos. Missing you definitely and feeling nostalgic about something in photos it doesn't have to be photos of you you know it could just be like maybe if this is somebody that you spent time with and you took photos together you traveled um, and looking at scenery took photos of scenery they're looking back on those photographs um, maybe you guys went to like the islands or you traveled to the tropics or something like that um, with the paradise card okay so and it could be maybe you're, you know, maybe for some of you, you maybe you went somewhere, you were, you went on a trip or you did something and you've got photographs and they're seeing them. Okay. Ooh, you've got love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. <clears throat> wow. Okay. You've got somebody here, Virgo, who is thinking about you looking at your your pictures they want to make new memories with you somebody is missing you so this could be somebody that you knew from before or spent some time with um, and for others it's just they want to make memories with you okay so it's very lovely it's a very nice um, like their heart is swelling as they as they look at you <laughs> all right um, enjoying each other interesting so for some of you this is somebody that you had photos with where you were both enjoying the time together okay so let's take a look let's see what other messages what's going on with this person okay ace of pentacles yeah this person wants to reach out and um offer another opportunity or an opportunity to get together but they're very hesitant right now okay this person feels like they're kind of fatigued or they're not feeling well they could be ill um <clears throat> or just drained of their energy waiting for the right opportunity i feel like this person um you know they're very resilient i feel like this person isn't going to give up now, it could be sagittarius for others virgo taurus or capricorn um i see a lot of perseverance here and persistence but but um this person is kind of broken this is the wounded warrior card so it seems like 
There's a lot of um, recovery. They've, they're recovering or they're just on the end of recovering from something. And as soon as the opportunity or as soon as they're well, then they're going to make a move and try to create some type of, um, a, you know, like an opportunity um, to, to what? To what? Let me see. New opportunity to what? Oh, okay. King of Cups. Oh, okay. Page of Cups. Yeah. Um, I'm just hearing they're hesitant because they're not sure you're going to accept them or that you would it, like an opportunity for a date or to connect with them in a very loving way. I feel like you're going to get a message from somebody here. For some, it might be an apology. Um, we have Pisces energy. <clears throat> it could be a water sign. Um, yeah, you're going to get an apology from somebody here. Uh, this person has a very youthful or immature kind of way about them or look about them. Um, hmm. They could be psychic or very spiritual. That type of energy here is crush. There's a, there's a crush energy here. Okay. Definitely a crush with the Page of Cups. So, yeah. So, this doesn't have to be, though, a water sign. Just keep that in mind. It could be any sign of this person, but they're showing up with this emotional, you know, romantic, charming type of an energy. Very affectionate uh, type of person. Very deep, deep emotions that they have within them. Yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. This person shows up very much just like they're trusting their inner voice to reach out to you um they have good news that they want to give you let me see they're very naive like there's a lot of na naivete with this person let me see i just get a sense that they're hesitant as we're listening as you're listening to the reading um they don't know if an opportunity will come but they want to have that with you uh, it's either they don't know if the opportunity will come or they don't know if you will accept it they're they're just waiting i feel like this person is um broke busted and disgusted <laughs> i feel like you know you see how he's got that bandage on his head here it's a he but you know male or female has that bandage on his head so it's like this person is like pretty much beat up you know but very resilient you know it's like that's not going to stop me that's the energy that i pick up from this person so yeah you're going to be getting uh, by the end for some of you it could be a birthday card or um you know from the 23rd through september 1st or 2nd um or, or for, for others it could be an early birthday card um, if you're, you know, with the September birthdays, but I feel like it's a card, it's a message, it could be a text message, it could be, um, you know, it's weird. I always see like this, this, this page, doesn't that kind of remind you, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me, of like birthday cake colors, you know, the blue and the pink icing and <laughs> that kind of energy. So it could be a birthday message for some of you. Okay, for others, it's just an apology or just um, a romantic message, flirtatious. It's very, it's like immature in some way, but it's not, not necessarily bad. Okay, so you have the two of wands. Okay, hmm, a lot of Pisces energy showing up here. And we have Aries, so, okay, this person... They're at a crossroad. Like if you don't, ex if so I don't feel like you're getting an ultimatum from this person, but I feel like this person is, it's kind of like, and I have to keep it real here. This person is kind of like, they're at the crossroad. Um, either they're going to make a move here towards you. And if you accept the move, then you guys will go together. And <clears throat> if you don't accept what they're offering, because you do see they're waiting for the right time because they do want to have a new beginning here with you. <clears throat> Hold on. I'm dying, y'all. <laughs> um, then they will be, they will feel disappointed, but they will leave you alone. That's how I feel. So if you're not interested in accepting anything from this person, I feel like they'll move on. Okay. Um, 
So if you don't want anything from this person, uh, <clears throat> any kind of relationship or anything, and then you just say, well, thank you, um, but no thank you, and you're not interested, um, then they will, they will quietly walk away. They'll move on, okay? But I want you to know something. And this Eight of Cups is temporary. This is a temporary um, separation, okay? So for the time being, um, they won't pursue. They're not going to chase. They're not, this person doesn't show up to me. King of Cups usually isn't like a soapbox type of a person where they make announcements or cat call type of an energy. This is somebody who's very gentle and kind of um, sublime and a bit, you know, uh, soft comes through as someone who's very soft. But I do see, okay, um, they are standing here at a crossroad um, after, you know, coming towards you, okay? Um, so it's kind of like maybe they're checking your temperature to see if you would, are interested um, or if you are want to go on a date or have something with them. This could be somebody new for some of you. Just keep that in mind. Um, but they're not going to, you know, get crazy and chase you down and pursue and be like, you know, really like it's just so they're they're emotional. It feels like like their emotional uh, message to you might seem kind of childlike, um, but they are very much emotionally intelligent is how I feel. OK, um, so let's see what else is going on here. OK. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I can't even believe this. Okay. Virgo. So like I was saying, let the story just finish, please. And then I'm going to finish. I'm not going to keep going for it because I'm kind of easing my way back in here and I'll start building up my time as we go. But this person, like I said, they're going to temporarily pull away. <clears throat> and, and it's kind of like, hmm, okay, that didn't work. So when I say they're not going to pursue you, I mean beg and plead. But they are going to come back with this. If you tell them no, or you're just not interested, or that that's just not what you want, or you're you know you're, you're looking for something more solid, more stable, then they're going to you know go back to the drawing board, temporarily move away, and then come back with, okay, here's the solid offer here <laughs> so Taurus energy Virgo energy here okay the Hierophant tr be more traditional um, conform marriage commitment here's the lovers okay so so Virgo all right so I'm gonna tell you who's on the board here I'm gonna give it to you straight Virgo Taurus Gemini Pisces Aries um, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Pisces. I said that like there's a lot of Pisces here. Okay. And then as far as court cards go, uh, Cancer and Scorpio. Now, if that's not your person, it could be somebody new. So just keep that in mind, you guys. But yeah, this person is going to come forward to sum it up basically. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Cups. So this is like make a wish you know, wishes coming true. This is emotional contentment and happy. I'm sorry, happiness, joy, cheerfulness, abundance, rewards, achievements. So I feel like you're a wish come true for this person. Um, but like I said, they're not coming through to me as someone who's going to pursue you like, um, you know, a lion chasing after a gazelle. It's not going to be predatory. It's going to be okay. I'm going to come in with this and see if Virgo is interested. And then if Virgo is like, no, or doesn't really respond, or even if Virgo says yes, they're still going to be kind of like, okay, now I need to pull away and think of something. Um, even if, because I feel like some of you might say yes, but then somehow along the lines, you might be more like, okay, yes, um, we can connect, but I'm not going to invest in this connection with you. You're going to have to show me why I would want to invest in something here with you. Okay. Um, 
And so that's why I feel like this person then will just kind of take a couple of steps back and, you know, temporarily separate, go back to, you know, what kind of rabbits can they pull out of their hat to try to prove something to you here, which might be more along the lines of what you're looking for, a divine union, okay, with someone you're, you're just not in a place in your life. Now, some of you might be, some of you might just be like, you know, I'm, I'm not looking for marriage. I'm not looking to have, you know, traditional connection. Um, some of you might just tell them that <laughs> just to see if they're willing. Bloody stump. Some of you are going to give them the bloody stump, you know, <laughs> just to see what they're made of, make them work for it. And I don't feel like it's going to be any kind of um, like, it's not mean or anything. It's just uh, Virgos. You know how you are. <laughs> All right. I just want to get a couple of more cards here from my Moonpie Tarot deck and then I am calling it quits. Okay. All right. Putting in effort. Yeah, there you go. And that's what I kind of feel like is what you're going to do here. Uh, I don't feel like you're going to be narcissistic and I don't feel like you're going to be, you know, um, resting bitch face or anything, but I do feel like you're, you're definitely not going to be in any kind of doormat position, you know, cause why Virgo? <laughs> girls night out guys night out you're living your best life and you're enjoying yourself and you're having fun and and you're just not entertaining yeah here's cupid's arrows love messages travel you're really not entertaining anything that is just or anyone that is just going to drain your time and your energy um if you want to spend time with people you'll keep it light if you want to have a connection with someone, you need to just kind of know that they're serious about it, you know, not serious, like that they're going to be like the most boring person in the world. But, you know, like you're just valuing yourself, valuing your time, your money, your effort, your energy, everything. And you want someone to value that as well, because you would do that for them. Okay. So it looks like this person is going to really try to put in the effort, um, you know, uh, work, 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 work. I guess that's what you're doing here, Virgo. And, you know, good for you. You have to stand up for yourself. So I'm going to leave your message there. I'm so happy to be back. Sorry for my sniffles and um, being away for so long. I don't think I've been away this long. I don't even know. I, I started feeling better and then, um, so the first couple of days I had like, it was after the, all right. So for those of you who are done with the reading, you could just click off, but for all of the rest of you who, you know, we got a thing here. I just want to tell you really quick what happened. The Incubus concert was phenomenal. It was, I, I don't even know <laughs> that I had it in me to be 25 again. <laughs> I have to tell you, but I don't, I mean, I made my way all the way up to the front of the stage and I got to see Brandon and like, I could feel my breath leaving my body uh, as soon as he came out on stage. Anyway, I'm a fangirl with Brandon, but, um, it was such a great show. It really was. And I had a great time. And then, um, so that was on the fifth. Then on the seventh, I started feeling really bad. And so for the first like three or four days, I had a fever and I just was like, what the heck is going on? And then after that, it went away. It's just like it got better. But I did take a couple of, um, I took some COVID tests and they came back negative. And then I went to the doctor and they're like, nope, you're fine. You don't have it. So I was like, okay, maybe I just have a cold or something, but I had a pretty heavy fever. Anyway, then I felt better. And then it, I was ready to come back and do your reading, you guys. And then all of a sudden, the fever came back. And then I took another, I took a test finally, and then it came back positive. So I don't know what is going on. Um, I don't, you know, I don't know what the variants, I don't really keep up with that stuff. And, you know, I had my vaccinations and everything, but I was like, I can't even believe I avoided this for three years. And now it's it's going to get us all. But anyway, so I'm coming out of it now. And hopefully this will be the last. And um, yeah, so that's really what happened. I don't know why I'm explaining myself to you. I just kind of felt like, um, you know, just to let you know, because I I'm such like I, I missed doing the readings and I missed you guys so much. So 
I'm just going to try to ease my way, like I said, ease my way back into the readings here for you guys um, each day and just, you know, try to up my time a little bit more. But I just wanted to let you know what was going on. And thank you so much for all your comments and waiting for me. I, I'm so grateful to you all for that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go maybe take some more cold medicine because I think that I'm out of the woods with COVID now and it's just residual. Hopefully, knock on wood, knock on wood. And if any of you are not feeling well, please, please take care of yourselves. And I hope that you um, have a speedy recovery and I hope that you enjoy this reading. Okay. And then don't forget to look out for the personal readings will be opening up in September. And I'm going to go over tonight and open up my booking site. So if you want to book your readings for September, you can book them early. All right, you guys, love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. <laughs>